Shalom, Shalom, brothers. It's Brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, along this truth from, from GMS. Blessings to the Aki Madair preaching his word, will hold our true sincerity. Blessings to the 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven, House of David, Wiaf, Dawada. And Shalom to you, brothers out there that are speaking in different tongues and uh, looking in different nations, preaching his rock as well, man. Shalom. So today, you know, I wanted to get into, um, you know, to the straight, straight up prophecy on the situation, man. You know, the destruction of Babylon, man, so-called America, man. You know, Babylon, you know, it's uh, up and coming. Um, you know, it's going to utterly be destroyed, you know what I mean, with um, with thermonuclear, you know, thermonuclear weapons, man. You know, and that's that's just, and that's that's a beautiful thing because, you know, we're, we're, li we're living in a, a wicked, a wicked world ran by the Esau. You know, and um, it says the you know the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and it has, man. You know, we living through really tough times, and have to deal with really tough things, man. We are in captivity. Yep, we are. We are in our hand. We are in the hands of our enemies right now, absolutely. But not for long, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, pretty soon, you know, Esau is going to be. It's going to the curses are going to flip. Pursuing the you know uh, Deut Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and so you know, um, that's a beautiful thing, and uh, we, we're seeing that coming up. And um, you know, shoot, you know, you know, the Lord has has woken up the the the, the men of the men of the Lord, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, and um, you know, we're we're back in our lot, you know, doing this work. Let me make sure. Uh, let me hold this because last time, you know, it muted the. Sometimes things can be muted. You know what? Um, I'm gonna let that go. What that is. So you know, um, it's a beautiful thing. So you know, what what what, what I want to get into is, is, is destruction of Babylon, man, and so that we can get up out of here, man. You know, you know, so, you know, because Yah, because Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh's gonna send Yahweh Shah to, you know, to, to to put destruction on this place, along with the, you know, with the uh, the thermonuclear missiles, which is another army of of Yahweh, and um, you know, and also Yahweh sending Yahweh Shah to deliver his men, you know, the, the elect, the chosen people of the nation of Israel, the the the, the remnant, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, man, and you know, shoot, what a what a beautiful time to be in right now with all these prophecies screaming out and you know doing what they're doing. You know, we're really, we're really in the time of revelations to really, you know, really, you know, get ourselves out of this kingdom and be into our kingdom, man, under Yahweh Shah, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. So, you know, what I like to say is a lot of times, um, you know, when we're um, uh, like the, 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 the prophecies that were set in play, you know, you know, it could seem like it was tarrying, but, you know, the Lord said it won't tarry, um, but he wait for it because it will not tarry. At the end of the day, though, five years, 10 years, 15 30 35 50 you know shoot they the, the prophet seems seem to be dormant and they were because it just wasn't a time frame to be you know executed out but now we're in that time frame when the prophecies are really you know coming out and and one of the one of the greatest prophecies is the destruction of babylon man and shoot, we didn't even know what babylon was in the scriptures until the lord had gave us the holy spirit to uh to understand the scriptures and throughout the yahab and double honors to the apostles and waking them brothers up you know, and um, from the brothers who woke up, Apostle Tahar and Apostle Gobar and uh, Apostle Ramlab and Apostle Raka, and, and utterly, you know, and then also to, to get us brothers in line, man. The Lord put that spirit in for us to wake up. And now that we woke up, we're going to prophesy the downfall. That's what the Lord always did. The Lord always had prophets out there to prophesy, prophesy the downfall of wicked kingdoms, man. So, you know, my first my first preset right now, this is not about the prophets, but hey, you know, let me let the spirit deal. But that's a really good point before I go into this. It's, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah uh, 28 and 8. It says, uh, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. So, you know, and the Lord speaks through his men, you know, pursuing, the, um, you know, Luke, uh, you know, Luke 1 and 70, uh, you know, just to just to, you know, just to land back, you know, into, you know, you know, case brothers that don't, don't know. But, you know, we bring his precepts out to prove all things. It says, as he spake, who's that he? How Basham Yahusha, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Right. So that's why in, in Jeremiah uh, 28 and 8. That's why it says, it says, it says before the world began. Well, in Jeremiah 28, that's why it says the prophets that have been before me, right? The prophets been before me, you know, I remember because the scripture said that the, 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 uh, that the, um, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So if you were a prophet now, more than likely, you know, you was a prophet then, especially if you get delivered, then obviously you were that prophet on before. But at the end of the day, though, 
prophets before me and right now in this time frame was prophesying against, you know, I'll read it again, the prop, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what's happening today. And so we're doing, you know, and every time kingdoms have, have been brought down, there was prophets set up to prophesy about the downfall of it before it was all ultimately utterly destroyed and that's what we're doing right now in our lot and we're prophesying the downfall of babylon and how it's going to be destroyed according to the scriptures which i'm gonna get into via thermonuclear uh, um thermonuclear uh icb missiles and also with those chariots man so um shoot let me go ahead and get into uh revelations 18 i'm gonna let the spirit deal you know what i'm gonna start off at uh, isaiah 47 first um i'm gonna start at isaiah uh 47 and this is very comforting, man. That's why we put these videos up, brothers, to comfort the brothers, to edify our brothers, so you know, you know, uh, brothers' uh, precept games can come up. You know, you can you can learn from other brothers and learn other precepts and breakdowns, especially under the under GMS, um, through the spirit of power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely lowering you to be able to watch brothers and to learn these things. You know, because you know, you can just be in the world and not give a damn, but the Lord put a spirit on you to 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 give a damn, which is a beautiful thing, man. Because this word is what's going to be delivered. From out of the destruction of Babylon, you know, ultimately. Um, Isaiah uh, 47, and I'll just pr pretty much start at the top. This, this, this 47 is really, is really awesome. It says, uh, Isaiah 47, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. And, you know, and, that, and, that's, and that's, that's a beautiful thing because when it, when it says sit in the dust, you know, that's symbolic for, you know, the utter destruction that's going to happen to it. Because you remember when, when the ICBM hit, hit, um, Hit a place, it destroys it utterly with fire, and ultimately at the bottom of it is is, is going to be a dusty ruin, you know. And it, and it says sit in the dust, right, because it's going to be brought down. So sit your ass down, daughter virgin of Babylon. And it's a virgin of Babylon because Babylon hasn't been touched before, you know what I'm saying? So you know, just symbolic for a woman never been, you know, never lost her virginity. She's a virgin because she never been, um, she never been penetrated by a man. So that's what that's going into. It says sit on the ground, right? Yeah, you know, all the buildings, everything, the the, the, the system, you know, the the uh, you know the, the governments and the system and the, and the, and the whatever uh, is entailed on the land is going to be brought down low. Because remember, the scripture says it's going to be no rock or you know, roughly paraphrasing, no rock on top of anything else is going to be set uh, left here. It's going to be utter desolate. And it's gonna be the kingdom for the for the you know the, the fowls of the uh, you know fowls and lizards and the snakes and thereof. Um, so some read again, it says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, and there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Because right now, you know, Babylon is considered, you know, so-called America, Babylon is considered to be, you know, tender and delicate. All over the world, people want to come to so-called Babylon, so-called America, which is Babylon, because, you know, it's a place where you can, you can just freely do wickedness. And that's that's why that's why this kingdom is is the worst kingdom ever been done before ever in, ever in history of mankind. I mean, you got the sodomite stuff going on, LGBTQ. Uh, we, we just found out about how they're going to allow men to put wigs on and be transgenders to be now become coming to women's sports. And vice, well, I don't know about vice versa. That'd be that wouldn't really work out. I can't see a woman strapping up to play football. That just doesn't make any sense. And if a woman want to play, I, why would you want to want a woman to play? That'd lower down the the warrior state of the actual sport. Because you know, you know, you might, you know, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, though, you know, you know, you got you know taxes and unrighteous decrees and robberies and you know all, all the different things that uh you know they got they got the strip pork lobster as delicacies. You know, it's just this place is just wicked and just all hell. It just got to go. I'm going to go to two. It says, take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks and make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh and pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, the shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. And that's what's happening right now. You know, uh, Esau, which is the ruler of Babylon, so-called white man is already is already being exposed of all his lies, man. We, you know, brothers are going in week in and week out, putting these videos up, exposing Esau for what they is and what they and what they got going on, and and that they're the real, true biblical Edomites, not white. They're the Edomites of the Bible. They're red. They have no melanin in their skin, and they have no repentance with the Lord. Straight up, you see what I'm saying? So, um, and the Lord said He would not meet thee as a man. Take vengeance, yeah, man. 
Absolutely. As it says, as for our Redeemer, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shab Host is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Um, it says, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. Absolutely, man. Um, right, because, you know, the Babylon is like supposed to be top of the food chain. You know, I've been I've been to a couple places outside of uh, outside of Babylon, you know, so-called America. I've been outside of it and people every everywhere I went from Europe to to even like, you know, southern, you know, southern, uh, you know, you know, like the Caribbean islands and things of that nature. Um, people want to come over to America. They want to come over here and they will they, they desire it. And why not? Because, you know, in, their, in the places that where they are, it's supposed to be the land of the free, of opportunities, the American dream, all those different things got them in a trick bag so they, where they can come over here and just be um, indoctrinized by the philosophies of, of Babylon, man. It's no good at all. Um, uh, let me see. I think I'm going I'm to I'm settle that one. You know, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, uh, let me go with uh, Isaiah 47 and, uh, and 14. It says, Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power, the power of the flame, there shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Right, this place is going to be destroyed by ICBM missiles, man, and it's, it, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing, and it's coming up, World War III is on its way, and, um, you know, and uh, let me... Salakia, brothers, um, Isaiah 40, 47 and 6, one of the greatest reasons why I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into into thy hand. Thou didst show no, them no mercy upon the ancient thou upon the ancient hast thou every heavily laid thy yoke. Right. Because. Yeah the, yeah, yeah, the Lord, the Lord put us in the hand of, of our enemies. Yeah. OK, because we, you know, we had to go to slavery, pardon the curses because we sinned against the Lord. Absolutely, but the pollution of Esau had done, and the way, and the way they, the way they treated us, and the way they was moving, just, just, just made this, this situation so far off. It's out of control. You know, it's, you know, Esau, what they would do in this particular kingdom, you know, because this is, this is, this is their kingdom. What they would do is the Lord would make a decree like you shouldn't do this, and, and this is not what you're supposed to do. And Esau would make a decree that is okay to do. So, you know, thou shalt not be, you know, be a sodomite, basically. I'm just going to say that because it said, you know, I, what it really says is a man shouldn't lie with another man like uh, like like mankind, roughly paraphrasing. So sodomite type situations. Well, Esau makes being being gay uh, um, legal and OK, let alone same sex marriages. That's going the hell off, man. And so, you you know, if you a faggot or you or you so-called, you know, a sodomite. In other countries, you're going to want to come to Babylon because you have the opportunity to marry another guy or a woman, marry another woman. That's insane, man. That's insane, man. That's not that's not good, man. Not at all. Let me go to Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 50, man. That's why the Lord, you know, and, and, and I pray in the, in the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashan Yahushah, man, because what we should be praying is hasten the day of destruction of this place, man. We, we, we meditate terror on this place, man. Man, all them, all them ICP and missiles, man, that's coming over here, man. Woo-wee. Mm. That's going to be a sight to see. As, uh, Jeremiah 50, I start at the top. It says, the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua speak against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Uh, it says, um, I'm going to go to... Uh, Oh, yes. De started uh, Jeremiah 15 and 2. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Bell is con confounded. Merodach uh, uh, is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. Talking about Babylon. Which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove their, they shall remove, they shall depart, but but both man and beast. In those days, in that time, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the children of Israel shall come, and they and the children of Judah together going and weeping, and they sh and they shall go and seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, their power. Right, that's what we're doing right now. And it says, they shall ask the way of way to Zion with their faces uh, thitherward, saying, come and let us join ourselves with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and perpetual covenant that shall not be should not be forgotten. Uh, let me see. I want to get to the. Uh... Let me 
Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead to st go to seven. I'm gonna jump it up and down these things. Uh, it says uh, Jeremiah 15 and seven. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversary said, "We offend not, because they have sinned against Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the hope of their fathers." Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their arrow shall be as the mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. What that's saying is, is the Lord is going to allow all the nations of the world that are most likely the EU and the NATO, every nation that has ICBM missiles, the Lord is going to make them shoot everything they got. They're going to shoot everything they got right at Babylon, straight up on one accord and read that again. Jeremiah 50 and, 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. So they're going to be all in battle formation and all ready to basically aim in that Babylon. And they're not going to just shoot one thing. They're going to unload the clip. They're going to unload the clip on Babylon. And it's going to be, a, a, it's going to be overkill. And it says, and they and, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as the mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. Now you got to remember, uh, most countries also Babylon, which is their technology is you know Esau's sword. It was given from the Yahweh was shot. So their sword is going to be you know their blessing is the sword. So they 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 got some things. At the end of the day, though. They also have what you call defense missiles and, and uh, defense technology. So whenever a, a, a missile would come, whenever a missile would come into the, into a radar or or uh, the airspace or any type of any type of danger that the Babylon will be in, most countries have they have technology of weapons to, to shoot and counteract to stop the missile from damaging. Well, the scripture says that the Lord is going to. It says right here at the very end. It says. Uh, from thence shall they shall be taken, their arrow shall be as the mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. So there, there so there isn't so when Yahweh Bashim Yahushad allows the nations to shoot off their missiles, they're not going to come back in void. They're going to all hit exactly where they need to hit because it's the spirit of the Lord on them. And mind you, the the, the, the missiles are the Lord's army as well. I'm gonna get to that. And it says, uh and Chaldea shall be a spoil. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 10 And Chaldea shall be a spoil All that spoil her shall be satisfied Saith Yahab Bashim Yahu Shah Right so that it, it, It's the Lord saying it's going to have to be It ain't going to be no stopping it Because uh, 11 Because you were glad Because you rejoice You destroyers of my inheritance Because you are grown fat As the heifer at grass And below the bulls Absolutely Yup uh, Your mother shall be sore confounded she, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yahweh Shah, it shall, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly, des uh, wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and the hiss at her plagues. Listen, when, when, when Babylon goes down, the way it's going to go down, and the Lord said in about an hour, um, that's in Revelation 18, I can get that, and also Zechariah uh, 1, the first chapter, talking about in, in a little moment, and also uh, Isaiah 26 as well, because um, it said uh, the Yahweh, it's going to take Yahweh Shah one hour to do all this all this destruction, but it says it's not going to be inhabited ever again, and it's going to be astonished, and it's going to be so bad, it's going to make people like, yo, I don't even want no parts of that over there, I, Like it's going to be bad to look upon. You know, when you see somebody, um, that's like saying when you see a, a guy getting beat up by another guy, you're going to now look at the destruction that the guy took and the damage he took by the guy. And you're going to see so much damage on that guy. You're going to look at the bull like, yo, I don't want no smoke from the bull. Bull probably beat me the fuck up the same way. I'm cool off all that. I don't want nothing yet. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what the Lord is saying. And it says, um, 14, put yourselves an array against Babylon round about all ye all ye that bend the bow shoot at her spare no arrows that's the spirit because I said he going to empty the clip <laughs> it said Jeremiah 15 and 14 it says put yourselves in array against Babylon round about every nation that has missiles 
and all capabilities of an ASEAN missile. You got Russia, you got Iran, Iraq, you got China, North Korea, South Korea, you got parts of uh, Africa got them. Africa got them. Um, shoot, you, I mean, man, Germany, uh, 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 Italy, you know, I mean, shoot, there's so many nations now with ICBM missiles, it's out of control out here. And every single one of them is shooting at one time. Read that again. Jeremiah 50 and 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon roundabout. So, so everybody, everybody gets set up and get how you need to be set up. And all you that bend the bow, meaning everybody who has those capabilities, I'm talking to all of y'all, get ready and aim the missiles up. Shoot at her. So, so shoot, start bussing and spare no arrows. Every country is going to empty the clip. Every missile that exists on this, on this planet at one given time is going to get shot. It's going to get, it's going to get shot off at one time. And, and every single missile is going to go at Babylon at one given time. And the Lord said, in the up, up ahead, it said, right here, it says, right, right here, Jeremiah 50 and 9 again. For lo, I will raise up and cause to come against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. And they shall set themselves in array against her from hence, from thence she shall be taken. Their arrow, their arrow shall be as the mighty expert man and none shall return in vain. So you listen, oh, shoo. man, that's just like, that's just crazy. Um, I'm going to read 15. Shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Take vengeance upon her as she have done and um, done and do unto her. This is crazy. Now, I really wanted to get into... Uh, 25 this is a cold world it says um uh shoot you know what salakia brothers um i'm gonna go at 20 i'm gonna go 50 and 22 start there it says a sound of battle is in the land and a great destruction how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken who's that esau in america babylon the soul is the hammer of the earth got it got embassies everywhere the navy set up all over the world ain't nobody messing with esau right now at the time it's at the time of now until this time comes how has babylon become desolation among the nations i have laid a snare for thee and thou art also taken o, o babylon and thou and thou was no not aware thou art found and also caught because thou hast strip, striven striven against your habashim yahushah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of hosts in the land of the, Chalde Chal the Chaldeans. Come against her from the uttermost border. Open her storehouses. Cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Sh slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them for their day is come. The time of their visitation. Damn. The voice of them that flee escape out of the land of, the, of Babylon and to declare the Zion and vengeance of Yahweh Bashim El Shah our power, the vengeance of his temple. All together, the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done. Do unto her, for she hath been proud against Yahweh Bashim El Shah, against the Holy One of Israel. Woo, man, the Lord is going to really do Babylon dirty, 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 dirty. Um, and let me get a, let me get a, I'm going to get Revelations 18 because uh, I said I would. Um, you know, so many scriptures you can, you can bring out, uh, but I, I'm getting to the point. Revelations 18, um, uh, it says, uh, I'm going to go to two. It says, no, I'll start at the top. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become a habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And that's that's going into how, you know, it's going to be lizards and birds of different kinds. This, 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 this is they're going to be their kingdom. It's going to be their kingdom after this destruction. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Right. 
and see everybody got a hand of Babylon and how they can get rich and and they everybody got a hand of the philosophies. Remember, I was saying how people want to come to to Babylon to to do wickedness and just you know get a part of, of the so called greatness of their wickedness, you know. Um, this is a prophecy of us being delivered. And I heard another voice even saying, come out of her, my people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Indians of the elect that be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. Right. Because simultaneously, when these missiles are on the way, the Lord, Yahweh Shah going to crack the sky with the angels and the, and the Lord is going to send his elect to deliver, to, to deliver his elect. The, the, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native the Indians of the elect from the four corners of the earth and most mostly from Babylon. Which is going to be the most greatest deliverance. And this is the reason why. Man it says, for her sins have reached unto heaven and the most high have remembered her iniquities, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, listen, man. The Lord not playing. And it's going to be some crazy uh, Sarah Connor things going on. Matter of fact, like pursuing to um, Zechariah uh, 14 chapter. Um, it goes into, uh, I believe, like 13 somewhere. Uh, 12 it says and this shall be the play wherewith Yahweh shall will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth there's only one weapon that can do that like one weapon that's some ICBM missiles man hey man you know that's the way that's gonna have to go you know the Lord the Lord you know is, is, is wroth with this place and 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 shoot is obviously you know it said the sins have reached up to the heavens man that's bad all that sin that's a lot of sin man reaching up to the heavens man and our people got a hand in that too that's what the Lord said that the that the that destruction destruction had to start start from his his people first I don't want to butcher it um you know it's not really you know what I mean but I you know we don't like us brothers man we don't like butchering the scripture so we might as well just bring it out um it's um uh, I could first Peter four seventeen. Oh uh, yes, yeah, says for for the time has come that judgment must begin at my house, of the of, of my, the at the house of the Most High, at, um, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Right. So we got to be with the Israelites first, and then you know you know on, on going. But then in the day though, you know what is it, what is it to the people who don't really believe? Uh, that's 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 some crazy shit. And um, let me end off with um, uh, I had a lot of. Uh, a lot of this uh, written down. You know what? I'm in love with numbers because the re one of the one of the reasons why this got to happen is because of this. Numbers, um, uh, numbers thirty four. Nah, I don't think my phone is trying to die on me pretty soon. But you know, the Wadi Habashim El Shalom, the last precept, uh, thirty five and thirty four. It says uh, thirty three. It says, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are for blood. It defiled the land. Right. Because, you know, Esau, all he do was rape, rape, rob and pillage everything, especially when he came over here and did it to the native Indians, um, so-called native Indians, the Simeon Indians, which is Gad and Reuben. They was over here first. And it says, so you shall not pollute the land wherein you are for blood. It defiled the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed the rain, but by the blood of him that shed it. So, you know what I mean? So Esau set up shop here. They shed so much blood. Now the Lord going to come back and shed blood on them. Destroy this land for the for the controversy of, 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 the, of the Israelites, man. And, and it's got to be uh, pursuant to Isaiah 34. Um, shoot, might as, well, might as well get that real quick. Uh, Isaiah 34 and I believe 8. Uh, 34 and 8. Controversy of, of uh, yep, for it is the day of the Lord Yahweh shall vengeance in the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion, right? You know, what I'm saying so, uh, oh, yeah, I'm reading on, might as well. Uh, uh, and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall be become a burning pitch. The Lord going to destroy this place like Sodom and Gomorrah, man, but way worse. It's about, man, look, I brought this side, brothers. It's edifying, man. Um, Lord willing, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, and Kakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be exist by Shim in the name and only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, Bashim in the name. Bashim in the name and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akimadera preacher's word, who are true sincerity. 
Blessing to the 144,000 and one-third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, the house of David, the Biaf Dawadah, and Shalom to brothers out there speaking in different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom, brothers.